Why did we attack the Iceni? Why did we destroy that cargo? I can live with being a pawn if the game makes sense. Inbound freighters with Loki escort. These targets escape the asteroid depot. Destroy those ships before they reach the node. Target acquired. Beta wing here. Target acquired and closing in. Alright, so I've got the battle wings attacking those. So I'm going to go for the fighters. Uh, I'll let Alpha do whatever they deem necessary. Give me all M match speed. I'm a firing my laser. This crate's gonna blow. Whoa, it's gone. There's one freighter left. Let's finish the job. God damn it, get over here, you bastard. Goes. Objective neutralized. Uh, Another Loki fighter. Got a missile lock. Incoming! Check your sex. I'm trying. Help me out. Affirmative. Cover me. Need assistance? Ah, my shields are down. Where's this target up here? Come on, you bastard! Oh, just a nice hit on the shields there. It's ah. down. Here we go. It's a transport ship. and the NTC impervious. They are heading for the node. Eliminate the fighter escort pilots. We'll deploy the Samtic to handle the cruisers. Those cruisers have anti-fighter beams with an effective range oh, of 1,500 meters. Then. Lure the escort away from the cruisers before you engage. I've got them in my sight. Yes, sir! Deploying support ship now. Please stand by. We'll uh, wait for them because... Well, I know they're going away, but they've got to go to the jump node, so they have to come towards me. Unless I'm not near the jump node. No, it's, it's there, so they have to come at least towards me. I'll just shoot some missiles. Up. Maybe they'll uh, I'm gonna wait for the uh, support ship. Do this then. Secondary banks empty. Calling in support. Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. Someone. 
We've got to find a way of drawing them out, but they really just don't want to... Incoming! Watch out! Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. Basic maneuvers like a bitch. Lost an alpha. Mayday! Mayday! No! Oh god, everyone's dead. <laughs> it's down to me then. That support ship needs to get out of here. I got it. Engaging jump drive now. Samtic do its uh That really should not be any issue for them. That ship can easily destroy those. Enjoy the battle here. Now we watch. Oh, he's going down. He's going down. We have pulverized the glorious. I want a big laser to take this one out. A big green one. I 
I think I just got friendly fired. I think those guys are bombers anyway, so... Quick. The impervious objective has been neutralized. Return to base, pilots. The Aquitaine is shipping out. Well, that went well. <laughs> Admiral Bosch's command frigate reached the Sirius jump node. I have received no explanation, either on or off the record, for what happened out there. I assume we'll be informed on a need-to-know basis. Good job neutralizing those fighters and freighters. You've served the 53rd Hammerheads well. Your performance in this last mission proves you have what it takes to be an ace pilot. Well, thank you. I've recommended your transfer to the 107th Ravens. They lost many good officers in Deneb, and they could use someone with your talents. They're a top-notch unit. I know you'll make us proud. Good luck with your new assignment, pilot. Command has ordered the Aquitaine to return to the Capella system. Admiral Petrarch will address the crew at 0630. Oh, so we're being uh, removed, or not removed, uh, sent to another unit. Welcome to the 107th Ravens, pilot. I'm Lieutenant Samza, squadron leader. As you know, the Aquitaine is now en route to the Gamma Draconis system. The details of the situation there have been classified at the highest level, so I'm as much in the dark as you are. The Admiral will brief the crew when we reach 3rd Fleet Headquarters in Capella. The 107th is a heavy assault squadron, so our fighter of choice is the Hercules Mark II. Implementing advances in fusion drive technology, the Mark II improves the assault fighter's speed and maneuverability without sacrificing loadout. The Herc has only two missile banks, but its ordnance capacity is greater than the Myrmidons. The original Herc won the Great War, so we're proud to carry on the tradition. Mm. I recommend that you review the Herc 2 training modules before the Aquitaine arrives in Capella. These modules review advanced tactics, such as countermeasures and energy management. The Herc 2 is slower than the Myrmidon you've been flying with the 53rd, so learn how to evade missiles and equalize shields. These skills will help you push your fighter to the limits, master them, and the life you save may be your own. According to your file, you are now authorized to use the GTW-5A Prometheus-R, the GTM-19 Harpoon, and the GTM-4 Hornet Missile. The Prometheus-R is a retrofit of a cannon developed during the Great War. After the Alliance lost contact with Earth, we lacked materials required for mass production, so engineers developed this retrofit version. The Prometheus packs a bigger wallop than the Subak HL-7, but it will drain your power reserves with extended use. The Harpoon and the Hornet are both aspect-seeking missiles. While the Harpoon fires individual warheads, the Hornet launches a swarm of four projectiles, eight if you're in double-fire mode. Oh. The training modules cover the proper technique for firing aspect-seeking missiles, so be sure to review that section carefully. That's all for now, pilot. The Aquitaine will arrive in Capella in four hours. Right, um, I think what I'll do then is do the uh, blah, 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 the training simulators for the new fighter, and I will see you all in a very short moment. Um, just out of interest, you might not know about the whole losing contact with Earth thing. That's not because Earth got destroyed, as far as I'm aware. Um, it's because, as you saw with those jump nodes, um, at the end of the last game, a ship was go an enemy ship was going through the jump node, and it exploded halfway through. So it closed the jump node, so you can't go back to Earth, and that's what I think happened. But anyway, I'll see you in a minute. The officers and crew of the GTD I'm back, by the way. <laughs> this is Admiral Petrov. I know it's a bit of a uh, At zero one one five hours, we received a transmission from the 3rd Fleet Headquarters. A Sheevan cruiser, the three fighter wings ambushed and destroyed the GTC Vigilant as it patrolled the Gamma Draconis jump node in the Capella system. Command deployed the GTD Carthage and GDC Dashor. Though these vessels neutralize the immediate threat, all Allied units are now in a state of enhanced vigilance. 
Command has ordered the Aquitaine to spearhead the operation in Gamma Draconis as we investigate the origin and extent of this incursion. Gamma Draconis is a remote, uninhabited system discovered shortly before the outbreak of the Great War. The system has no planets, no viable resources. GTSC Ericsson visited the system 15 years ago and reported nothing out of the ordinary. Recon flights in Gamma Draconis detected activity near an uncharted jump node. Closer examination has revealed this node is not a natural phenomenon, but a massive subspace portal of unknown origin. We do not know why the Ericsson failed to detect the portal when it last visited the system. This device may have been inactive and therefore invisible to long-range sensors, or it may be of recent construction. The Shivan vessels that destroyed the Vigilant were not of any class encountered in the Great War. The light cruiser designated Rakshasa and the fighters designated Mara have been added to your onboard database. This is our first contact with this species in over three decades. Our objectives are clear. We must secure Gamma Draconis or face annihilation a second time. Well, uh, Free Space 1 was based around the Shivans, obviously. The, the start of it was the Vasudans and the Alliance fighting, and then the Shivans showed up even and started killing everyone. Um, this is Lieutenant Samza, squadron leader of the 107th Ravens. Here's the situation. The GTD Aquitaine entered Gamma Draconis at 1640. The flagship will defend the Capella node as we advance to secure the system. Recon discovered a Shivan supply depot near the subspace portal, and this will be our target. Command believes the Shivans are preparing for a more aggressive attack on Capella. The SC Behemoth, a Rakshasa-class cruiser guards the depot with a wing of Mara fighters. Enemy freighters are entering the system, dropping their cargo and departing through the portal. Your mission, pilot, is to execute a clean sweep of the area. Your primary target will be the Mara fighters. Once the escorts are down, destroy the behemoth and any freighters in the vicinity. You'll need to hold down the fort until we deploy the Carthage and Dashor. After you secure the area, we'll send Wings Delta and Epsilon to relieve you. Right, um, just let you know the, uh, um, thingamajig. I don't know what any of these are. Obviously you can mix and match, I don't know. Didn't mean to do that. Just put that back in there. Um, Hornet, Swarm and Harpoon missiles. Uh, the um okay the the uh what's it called training missions or the tutorials was just basically you see these bars in the bottom right the GSE that's uh, guns shields and engines and uh, it's just about shield redistribution and using the new weapons so the hornet and the harpoon um, and you know just that sort of thing. So, alt Command, this is Alpha Two. We're in. I've got a visual on the subspace portal. So How many hostiles in sensor range? One wing of Maras closing in fast. The behemoth is 2.5 clicks out. Two freighters and half a dozen cargo units are in the depot area. Yes, sir. We'll take them down. Destroy those fighters. The Shivas will send reinforcements, so let's secure this area as quickly as possible. We'll sort out that ship in a moment. The Maras are too fast. I can't get a lock. I also have countermeasures now, which is a nice addition. Um, I've never seen anything like it. And these fights are unbelievable. Yes, sir. We'll take them down. Just get everyone to take out that.
behemoth going down. Oh, he's gone. Already. What is that thing? Get oh, this bandit no. off me! I didn't want to use two. Breaking to attack! Let's use this other missile. We haven't used this yet. Oh boy! Send beta wing that, after them because Alpha's got a bit of damage to him. So, oh, to get away! Breaking to attack! Get this bandit off me! Yes, sir. We'll take him down.
have done that a bit earlier. I've just realised everyone's dead. apparently, which is bad, obviously. So some of my weapons are mal malfunctioning. I can hear it with my lasers, actually. Christ. <laughs> you survived your first sortie against the Shivans. Though we had only a small opposing force to contend with, survival is half the battle. The COs of both the Carthage and Dashor commend our squadron for the outstanding cover we provided. 
The Stephen Kane cruiser and its complement of fighters might have destroyed these vessels had we not intervened. Well done, pilot. A joint Terran Vasudan task force under the direction of Dr. Mina Hargrove is now studying the subspace portal. We expect a preliminary report in a few hours. For preserving the systems of the Galactic Terran Vasudan Alliance from Shivan invasion, you are hereby awarded the Allied Defense Citation. Well, that's jolly good, isn't it? One medal. Oh no, we've got our wings and our ensign. There we go. For now, that's going to have to be it from me. I've been doing this for a fair amount of time now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been good fun for me, reliving some old memories and enjoying the glorious space battles that is Free Space 2.